good morning everybody today we are working on part uh, two or lesson 4b integer exponents and last time we did negative bases we did uh, just basics of integer exponents uh, today we are doing some something in detail with different rules uh, but before we start uh, please make sure you subscribe my channel and leave a comment below that I subscribe I will reply to your comment personally and if you have any questions regarding any math problem please make sure that you comment and I will help you out or make a separate video for uh, specifically on your uh, question so integer exponent rule number one any number except zero raised to the power of zero equals one so anything to the raise to the power of zero is going to be one up but except zero like you can't raise zero to the zero right uh we will do this more in detail in unit two but it has to do with the fact that any number divided by any number divided by itself equals one zero uh, for that reason zero raised to the power of zero is undefined because you can't uh, divide by zero because it's undefined you can't do that okay let's do some examples three to the power zero is going to be one no matter what number you have except zero, you're going to have a one. Again, this zero applies on the whole uh, uh, thing inside the parentheses. Like it applies on six and it also applies on negative. So it means the whole thing is one. That one, again, it's one. Now, if you check, this zero applies on 36, not on negative. So I'm going to keep my negative uh i'm gonna keep my negative or i'm gonna have that one right okay rule number two if a number is raised to a negative exponent first rewrite it as a fraction with one on top with one on top and that power with a positive exponent on bottom then find the value then find the value of the power on bottom 2 to the power of negative 5 now negative exponent is not acceptable I just have to write it down negative exponent not acceptable you always have to change it to positive so how do we change to the positive you're gonna have a one you change it into a fraction with one on top and that power make it positive and it's gonna be to the power five now I have to simplify this 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 or you plug it in the calculator will give you 32. This one again 1 to the power 4 to the power 4. Do you see the negative turn a positive after you do the fraction? It's going to give me 1 over 256. 4 times 4 times 4 times 4. This is 1 over 7 to the power 2. 1 over 49. 7 times 7 is 49. Okay, let's see rule number three. If a power with a negative, with a negative exponent also has a negative sign with the base, with the base, change the sign of the exponent, but keep the negative sign with the base when you rewrite as a fraction, then evaluate using the rules for negative bases and we did this uh, negative bases it it was a uh, part one of this which means lesson 4a 
negative bases. Let's do that. So negative 5 applies on both. So it's going to go 1 over negative 2. And exactly the way they have written down, I'm going to do the same thing to the power 5. So you are multiplying negative 2 5 times. Remember the 5 applies on parentheses, which means it goes on negative and 2 both. So I'm getting, and since 5 is odd number, we're going to keep that negative and multiply 2 5 times, it's going to give me 32. This one, if you check, this negative doesn't have the negative 4. So I can keep that negative in the front, that one but 4 to the power 4 which will give me negative 1 over 256 same thing goes here negative 7 within the parentheses and 2 turn positive 2 is an even number the answer is going to be positive 49 okay let's do this practice rewrite as a fraction if necessary and evaluate again this negative doesn't have that negative 3 on top, so I'm going to keep that negative. And this portion, change it into a fraction with the positive exponent. And it's going to give me 1 over negative 1 over 27. That one, 1 over 5 to the power 4, and it's going to give me 1 over 625. Okay, now uh, what else we can do? If I do negative 2 to the power 0, negative 2 to the power 0, will give me what? Because 0 applies on 2, not on negative. So I'm going to keep that negative, but 2 to the power of 0 is going to be 1. So negative 1. Okay, that one, 2 applies on 6, not on negative. Negative stays, and 6 times 6 is 36. Again, 0 applies on everything inside the parentheses, so it's going to be 1. Negative 2 applies on negative and 9 both, like it applies on the parentheses. That's why inside the parentheses, whatever we have, it should have negative 2. So 1 over negative 9 to the power 2. It's going to give me 1 over 81 because this 2 is even and the answer is supposed to be positive. Okay. So uh, this was uh, lesson. 4b that we did um, and then uh, I mean we can do more examples if you comment below and then you need more practice more work then I will arrange that thank you so much subscribe and like my lessons thank you